Hi everyone, I'm Amy Sterk from Michigan Disability Rights Coalition from the Michigan Assistive Technology Program. Um, and we had some requests for information on assistive technology for gardening, so I wanted to show you uh, today some of the options for container gardening. And then um, next video, I'll talk about some of the tools we use. Um, so a lot of us are thinking about gardening at home right now because uh, of COVID and um, food shortages and also because it's a super relaxing and it can be a really exciting hobby and you get to eat the results. So uh, I think it's a good thing to take up right now. I know um, with my underlying disabilities, I won't be at a farmer's market anytime soon either, but I've actually been gardening for over a decade. Um, and so I wanted to share with you some of the tips that I have about choosing a container for your gardening um, that works for your body and then works for your budget too. Um, when I think about what I want to grow in my garden, I think about what I can't access uh, cheaply at the store already and what I really like to eat. So I really like carrots, but they are really cheap um, even when I'm having them delivered right now. So they're not something I'm going to take up garden space with. But um, I also really like kale and good kale at my local gardening or my local grocery stores. 250 and up for a bunch and I can get a packet of kale seeds for 250 and grow my own and have it all year and then it comes back a little bit for the next season too so I can even have some kale um, next spring. Um, so I definitely grow kale in my own garden. And then another thing that I really like to grow in my own garden are tomatoes. Um, really delicious tomatoes are really hard to come by in the store and pretty pricey. So I like to grow cherry tomatoes because I have a family and a really busy life and I find that the bigger tomatoes, if you grow them, um, if you water them erratically, they get blossom end rot. Um, but cherry tomatoes, you can be a little more haphazard in your watering and still have a really good uh, outcome there. So I'll show you some options uh, for your containers and I think I'll put a link in. Um, we use the square foot gardening method kind of uh, here at my house and it has some good ideas of choosing what works for your climate and then um, what works for your budget and you know what you want to focus on for um, using as much um, using the space as wisely as possible and they'll tell you like how many kales you can grow per square foot and how many tomato plants and then yeah which ones are your best bang for your buck so um, two options that I want to talk about for growing in your garden um, especially if you use a wheelchair walker or bending is a problem for you and also if you're on a budget you can grow delicious tomatoes in a five gallon pail and you might have a five gallon pail um, laying around already um, I had my partner drill some holes in this one they're actually holes in both but I can show you this one and you can set the five gallon pail on the ground um, but it really might work better to set it either on another pail or patio pavers. And you want to put a couple inches of gravel in the bottom. And then I'm going to uh, put some soil that I bought in. And you might need help with this. This is pretty heavy. I have back uh, problems, but lifting doesn't really exacerbate them. I have other things that do. <laughs> so I fill the pail mostly with a good potting mix. And I do purchase this every year because um, you can't just fill it with compost that you have at your own house. It needs to have some lighter material in it to keep the soil from compacting too much. And I got this tomato from a local nonprofit. Um, The cool thing about tomatoes is you can help them get a nice start by digging a hole that's deeper than the root bulb and burying the tomato with some of its stem underground too. It will grow more roots from that stem. You also, if you're going to grow tomatoes or other vining things, are going to want to put a cage on them right from the start. Uh, if you put the cage on later, you risk damaging the plant, moving it to put the cage on. So my tomato is ready to go. And actually, this one's going to go uh, for my mom on her porch. And yeah, she could put this up on paving or down on the ground or on another bucket. 
if you want to get a little more large scale in your uh, planting, you might want to do a raised bed like this. Uh, we purchased these precast uh, concrete uh, blocks that you can stack on one another and then um, insert two by sixes in and build them as high as you want. Um, so my partner helped cut these boards for me. And um, this is just an example. If you really um, wanted your bed this high, you would need to fill it mostly uh, with soil. Um, just wanted to set it up to show you. Uh, these strawberries are perennials and I don't wanna dig them up and, and redo the bed that high, but that's an option. Um, this whole setup, not including soil, was about $27. So that's not a ton of money. Um, and that's a four by eight bed. You can feed a whole family on a four by eight garden bed if you're using the square foot gardening method. Uh, the, I believe the five gallon pail I got for about 350 too. And then the soil was maybe about five, six dollars. And I did have these tomato cages around, but I think they're not that expensive either. So um, even if you're starting from scratch right now, if you think about this setup here, eight dollars to grow one cherry tomato um, with my cherry tomatoes i get bowl fulls of cherry tomatoes every couple days um, so it really would pay for itself a couple weeks into the fruiting season plus they're way more delicious than the stuff i can find from the store or they're as good as the really fancy stuff at the farmer's market that costs five dollars for a pint so um I think that's all I'm going to share with you right now about containers and kind of choosing what vegetables you might want to grow or fruits. Um, but check back next time because I will be talking about tools that you might use. Thanks.